Hello, this is Stories for Kids with Morale Podcast, Story Bell, and again, <laughs> bringing you stories to entertain and to educate you. So, what is the story? The answer is the tiger and the Brahmin. That's a holy man. First, I will give you some facts about the ferocious tiger with all his stripes. Let's go. Let's go. The tiger is the largest cat species on the planet. The tiger can be found in parts of India, China, Russia, Indonesia, they are usually living in the wild, in tropical rainforest areas, evergreen forest and mangrove swamps. There is the Bengal tiger, Siberian tiger, Caspian tiger, Sumatran tiger, Did you know that most tigers have over 100 100 stripes on their body? And these stripes help the tiger to hide when hunting prey. Question you might want to think, well, how big are tigers? I will tell you. Tigers can range from six to ten feet long and they can weigh between 220 pounds to 660 pounds that's between 220 to 660 pounds they're heavy tigers have great night vision and in the wild they live up to about 10 to 15 years. If you want to know what tigers eat, I will also tell you, and I will encourage you as well, to do your own search to find out more about tigers. But what do they eat? They eat mammals such as deer and wild boars. And tigers usually hunt alone, and they can consume over 90 pounds of meat in one sitting. No wonder they can weigh between 200 and 660 pounds. Whoa, because in one sitting, they will just eat and eat and eat, eat over 90 pounds of meat in one sitting. Oh, wow. Anyway... I encourage you to find out more about the tiger, more about the tiger, and maybe you might see differences between the Bengal tiger and the Siberian or the Caspian tiger and the Sumatran tiger. And you can always let me know. I would be interested to find out more. (laughs) Okay, let's begin the story about the tiger and the elderly holy man, oh, the Brahmin. And by the way, I do hope that you are sitting comfortably. I hope you're sitting comfortably. So now, hey, I've got my birdie with me, by the way. Birdie again, hello. (laughs) We're going to tell the story about the tiger and the Brahmin. Let's begin. Let's begin the story. So, once upon a time, I love once upon a time. (laughs) Once upon a time, there lived in India a very good man. He was a Brahmin or a priest. And he had such a kind heart that he could not bear to see anything suffer. Everyone loved him because he was so good to all the poor people and so gentle with the beast. One day, as the Brahmin was walking along the road, he saw 
a huge tiger who had been caught by the villagers and put in an iron cage to punish him for his wickedness. Brother Brahmin, Brother Brahmin, moaned the tiger. Pray, have pity on me and let me out of this cruel cage for one little minute so that I may get a drink of water, for I am dying of thirst. Oh no, Brother Tiger, answered the Brahmin. I could not do that, for you are being punished for your wickedness. Moreover, if I should let you out of your cage, you would eat me up. In truth, I would not, answered the tiger. I would never do such an ungrateful thing. Have pity on me, kind brother Brahmin, I pray. Then the Brahmin, feeling sorry for the tiger, unlocked the cage door. But the moment he opened the door, the tiger sprang out upon him, growling, grr, grr, grr. Now I will eat you first and drink the water afterwards. Oh, why, brother tiger, said the Brahmin, Do not kill me so hastily. You promised not to eat me. And now, when I set you free, you break your word? Is that fair or just? Is that according to the law? Growled the tiger. I care not whether it is fair or just. I learned no law in the jungle. Man is the food for the beast. But brother tiger, you must listen to reason, said the Brahmin. We will ask six judges if you are keeping your word to me, and if each one of them says that you should kill me, then I am willing to die. Very well, agreed the tiger. We will ask the judgment of six, and if they all say that you are to die, I shall kill you. But if any one of them grants you your life, I will have to let you go. So the Brahmin and the tiger walked to a banyan tree and the Brahmin said, O banyan tree, banyan tree, hear and give judgment. Oh, What must I give judgment? asked the banyan tree. This tiger was caught in a cruel cage, said the Brahmin. He was thirsty and begged piteously for a drink of water. He promised not to hurt me if I set him free. But when I did so, he sprang upon me to kill me. Do you think it fair and just for him to break his word? The banyan tree rustled his leaves and whispered in a mournful voice, Men take shelter under my boughs from the scorching rays of the sun. Yet, When I have protected them and they are rested, they break my pretty branches and scatter my leaves and take my fruit. Men certainly are an ungrateful race. 
So I say, let the tiger eat the Brahmin. Now, brother Brahmin, growl the tiger, I shall eat you. What, what, one, one moment, brother tiger, begged the Brahmin. We agreed to mark six judges, and we have had the opinion of only one. You must not eat me yet. Mm, very well, said the tiger. And they went on till they met a camel. Brother camel, brother camel, cried the Brahmin. Here, and give judgment. The Brahmin then told how he had opened the cage door for the tiger and how the tiger had broken his word. Do you call that just or right, Brother Camel? asked the Brahmin. As just and right as I am treated by man, snorted the camel, gnashing his teeth in rage. When I was young and strong and could carry a heavy load for my master, he took care of me and gave me food and shelter. Now I am old and have lost my strength in the service, and so he overloads me, starves me, and beats me. Men are an unjust and cruel race, so I say, let the tiger eat the Brahmin. Now, brother Brahmin, growl the tiger, I shall eat you. And he sprang towards the Brahmin. Stop, stop, uh, brother tiger, stop, said the Brahmin. We have heard only the judgment of two. Oh, very well, answered the tiger. At a little distance, they found a poor old bullock lying by the side of the road. Brother Bullock, Brother Bullock, said the Brahmin, hear and give judgment. Then the Brahmin explained the whole story again and said, do you call that fair or just? When I was able to work, answered the Bullock, my master fed me and treated me very carefully. Now I am old. He has forgotten all I ever did for him and has left me by the roadside to die. Men show no mercy to the beast. So I say, let the tiger eat the Brahmin. Oh, you hear that, brother Brahmin? Growl the tiger. Now I shall eat you up. Pray, brother tiger, have patience. We have met only half of our judges. I still have three more to ask. Very well, answered the tiger. And they went on together. After a time, they saw an eagle flying through the air. Brother eagle, brother eagle, shouted the Brahmin, fly down here and give judgment. The eagle came soaring slowly down and sat upon a rock. Then the Brahmin told his whole story and said, Do you think that it is fair or just of the tiger to eat me after I set him free? Well, answered the eagle, Men are not fair nor just to me. Whenever men see me, 
They try to shoot me and they climb the rocks to spoil my nest and steal my little ones. Men know no pity. They seek only to slay us. So I say, let the tiger eat the Brahmin. Hear that, brother Brahmin. Now I shall have to kill you, growl the tiger. I have patience, brother tiger, answer the Brahmin. We have yet two more judges to ask. Very well, said the tiger, and they went on their way. Presently they came to a river, and in the mud they saw an old alligator. The Brahmin told him the whole story, hoping that the alligator would give him a favourable answer. But the alligator, in great anger, snorted out, Whom for I hunt no man but. Whenever I put my nose out of the water, men torment me and try to kill me. As long as men live, we shall have no peace. So I say, let the tiger eat the Brahmin. Then the tiger sprang towards the Brahmin. This time I shall eat you up for all are against you. One moment, one moment, said the Brahmin. I still have one Opinion of the sixth judge. So the tiger was obliged to wait. And by and by they met a little jackal who came gaily prancing down the road. Oh, oh, brother jackal, dear little brother jackal, called the Brahmin. Please do stop a minute and give judgment. On what must I give judgment? barked the little jackal. Again, the Brahmin told his story and asked, Do you think it just or fair that the tiger should eat me up after I set him free from that cruel cage. Cage? 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 asked the little jackal in a perplexed tone. I I don't understand. What sort of cage was it? Why, a big iron cage down in the village, answer the Brahmin. The men had caught the tiger to punish him for his wickedness. When I came down the road, he begged for a drink of water and promised he would not eat me if I set him free. But when I opened the cage door, he sprang upon me to kill me. Do you call that fair or just? Dear me, dear me, said the little jackal. How can I decide who is right or wrong until I see the cage and the exact position you were in when the quarrel began. Show me the place and I will try to judge. So the Brahmin and the tiger and the little jackal went back to the place where the empty cage stood. Oh, Is that the cage? asked the jackal. Yes, yes, answered the Brahmin. Well, Brahmin, show me exactly where you stood 
said the jackal. Here, said the Brahmin, I stood here in the road, looking in the cage at the cruel tiger. Where were you, tiger? asked the little jackal. Why, I stood in the cage, so, answered the tiger, jumping into the cage. And my head was leaning against the iron bars, so. Very good, very good, said the little jackal. But I cannot give judgment until I understand a little more. Where did you not come out? Or why? Why did you not come out by yourself, tiger? Was the cage door open or shut? Why? The cage door was shut and bolted, answered the Brahmin. Then shut and bolt it, said the jackal, for I must see how all this happened. The Brahmin shut and bolted the cage door and turning to the jackal, he said, Now, give us your judgment, brother jackal. <laughs> barked the little jackal joyously. Leave it locked. Leave it locked, Brother Brahmin. Leave it locked. Oh, you wicked and ungrateful tiger. After the good Brahmin was kind enough to open the cage door, was it fair or just for you to spring upon him to kill him. You may stay in that cage all the rest of your life. <laughs> Goodbye, Brother Brahmin. Goodbye, said the little jackal. My way leads this way, and your way leads that. Goodbye. And away ran the little jackal in one direction while Brother Brahmin went on his way rejoicing that he was safe and shut up in the cage the old tiger roared in a rage. <laughs> Oh, I hope you enjoy that story. I owe you. I do hope you enjoy that story. I certainly did. Okay, what about you, Birdie? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Birdie says yes. <laughs> okay, I will be back with more stories for kids. The stories for kids with morale. That's me, the big kid. <laughs> I will be back. Take care for now and be good. Be very, very good. Work hard, and I'll see you soon. And have fun as well. Take care for now. I'll see you soon. Bye, bye.